Hello, welcome to Stories at 254. I'm your host Doris Mutua. Stories at 254 is home of entertaining entertainment where we educate you, inform you and entertain you at the same time. And today I am hanging out with one of the most creative people in Kenya, MC Antonio. Hi. That's cool. You say the most creative <laughs> person. That's so cool. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's, that's nice. How are you? Nice. Yes. You look nice. Thank Makapu Asan. <laughs> so I wanted to start by asking, what's the secret of being so creative? I think I think there is no secret. It's God given. It's it's a gift. When you have uh, amazing ideas, the, your process of thinking, when people can't understand how you think or your thought process, it's a wonderful thing. People, I like when people need try to really understand like how you think yeah because not everybody can you see all of us have ideas but your ideas and sometimes even i share ideas and people tell me no that one is too far-fetched and then a few years later you see someone doing the same thing so it's normal there's a comment i saw somewhere where somebody said that they feel you are underrated underrated what's underrated underrated like you just, you just appreciated me here and said one of the most creative people so I don't care whether I'm underrated or rated. What I know is my principles and what I stand for, and I know who I am. I am who I think I am. So, so if you if you if you have certain principles, there is nothing or what people say about you that can phase you off. You know, you become strong. You build blocks from those things. So, I I, I really don't I really don't care what people think. It's it's natural if someone there are people who appreciate you you know in in the world i don't really understand why people focus so much on negative things if 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 people think you're underrated it means they know how good you are so that person says i'm underrated it means they believe i'm supposed to be somewhere else or maybe i'm not even out of this world my friend eric always tells me where when you are hollywood and and from those things you already know who you are and what you stand for now that you've mentioned Eric, most of the time we normally see you guys together. Are you his manager? No, I think I think he said it even the other day uh, when he was doing an interview um, with uh, Kiss, I guess, Mpasho. He said, uh, he mentioned his three best friends, so he was among them. So we are more than business, we are family, we are brothers. We are brothers for, for 13 years, man. It's, it's crazy, you know. And that bond is strong, and that's how it's supposed to be. People, you complement each other. You bring this to the table, I bring this to the table. We create a furniture. <laughs> we create furniture, you know? Yeah. yeah. Is it ha hard having such a controversial friend? He's not controversial. He's just him. There is a difference. People, you see me, I know him as him. And, and the problem with this world, again, they don't like people who are self-expressive. You know what I mean? If you if you outspoken, people think you. Again, I'll go back to when you're a genius, people think you're crazy. So he's he's not, he's he's a genius, and and he, that's that's how he is. So he's not he's not dramatic, he's not uh, uh, chaotic, he's not uh, someone who likes drama. He just tells the truth and says like it is and does what he feels like, and that's freedom. That's what all of us should look for, freedom. I concur, I agree. Una feel like about the banning of TikTok? Uh, I've, been, I've been quite outspoken on my Instagram stories. I have quite a huge following on my Instagram stories and people really uh, borrow a, li a little bit of wisdom from there. And, and, and I said this before, that if, if TikTok is not regulated, then it's going to be a big problem. We don't need to ban TikTok. We need to regulate TikTok. Regulating TikTok is creating... A, uh, even those uh, online detectives, those who will see people who are online and doing things that are, are, are contrary to the rules and regulations, they are removed. But you cannot ban an entire... So what happens to those people who are doing good content? Thank you. Those are the people who, people who are doing good content are the same people who are earning from TikTok. Because TikTok, for you to earn, they have serious uh, rules and regulation about monetization, you know. And, and, and I think it's high time um, content creators understood that uh, what should I, where is my limit and what should I do? What, what, what can make me money? Most people don't understand that. They don't understand how to look for the money for TikTok. So they should not ban TikTok. They should regulate TikTok. They should say 
ages 18 and above should be on TikTok. And if it's below, they should have that. Um, you know, you, you, uh, YouTube has YouTube Kids. Netflix had Netflix Kids. It should have that segment for kids, you know, for just kids, purely children. And, and, and parents should monitor what their kids are, are doing online. Because if you see right now, most kids are on TikTok and they're not even at the age of being on TikTok. Because it, it even says for you to be on live, you need to be 18 and over. So there is a lot of uh, uh, civil, civic education to be done by parents to children. And, and also children should monitor. Like I don't see how my kid will have a device and I don't know what's inside the device. So it's important for them to also educate their kids and tell them what they shouldn't do when they're inside the apps. Because these apps are crazy. Yeah. So you have a really nice body. Uh, so you normally work out, I'm assuming. I, 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 I try. I work out. I work out a lot because it's healthy to me. I don't eat meat. I stay on a healthy diet. You're a vegetarian. I'm organic. I'm not, I'm not vegetarian. I eat fish. I eat organic egg, eggs and chicken. So I keep my diet strictly good and organic. And I drink a lot of water. Stay away from alcohol. And that's don't good. I don't drink. I don't drink at all. So you don't choose uh, any drug at all? Not a drug user. <laughs> I <I'd>, Panadol. <laughs> <laughs> I use Panadol in the morning for my headache. <laughs> yeah. What's the first thing you normally do? When I wake up, uh, I will be honest, I will not be like other people and say I wake up in the morning and the first thing I pray, that's a lie. I wake up in the morning and the first thing I do is check my phone. Because literally, you have to check your phone because we are living in a reality. We wake up in the morning, you see, you find breaking news, someone died, or you wake up in the morning, there is a road that is closed. So I wake up in the morning, check the weather on my phone, check, uh, check updates of the news. News is very important to me, and that's the first thing I always do. And then after that, um, I say a little prayer, not a prayer, I say a little prayer, I say thank you God for life. And life starts because I believe God blessed you already when you were when you're born, so, uh, yeah. three favorite content creators what so there's a guy called marwa i like marwa so much i like marwa a lot he's he, he he travels and gives us content that is raw i like that and then um uh who else eric 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 is is one of the craziest guy because he will wake up one morning and tell me one of the craziest things ever and then he does it so he's one of my favorite and then one more is uh who is, who is my favorite? No, I don't want to create enemies. Because <laughs> I have so many friends. Who else is my favorite? Man, let me be honest. Who else is my favorite? Oh, Flacco. Oh, Flacco is so fucking funny. <laughs> my boy. Shout out, Flacco. Flacco is the funniest guy I know right now. And I'm saying this with all conviction. He's so funny. And then, and then he's so creative. He's like the Eddie Murphy of, of, of my, my time. It's just people have not appreciated that so much. Yeah. So you're a and I'm an animal person. I love animals. I, I love all type of animals. Dogs, cats. How do they coexist, cats and dogs? If you, if you are a good... If you see animals coexist, there's a, there's a fallacy that people think God doesn't exist. But God exists. Mama! Hapa hivi, kwa tent, nafanya nini? It's okay. <laughs> That's Eric. So um, I think we can conclude because we have another meeting and then we can continue this interview as well. I don't mind talking and giving some inspiration. Last what? Last words. Be you, do you, don't listen to what people say. Be a go-getter. Don't justify yourself to anyone. Life is short. Love those who love you. Treat those people who treat you nicely. Those who don't treat you nicely, leave them alone. There is power in silence. Thank you so much. Okay, guys.